What's up guys, it's every shot. All right, Sunter, whatever. Oh my God, I need to get away from my dog, dude. So I just came out here to get some fresh air because recently, uh, I don't know, I've just been in my room the whole day doing homework, uh, you know, playing games and stuff. So I thought it'd be nice to get some fresh air. So as you can see, I'm just walking around the neighborhood. Some nice plants here, some fog, fog, I mean moss. I don't know if you guys can see this stuff. That's pretty nasty. Whatever, I just want this fresh air. It's pretty nice right now. Kind of weird weather for a Southern Cali because it's like all night time and, or that's not night. What am I talking about? It's like stormy. I don't know. I, I just want to get out of the air. So I thought I'd make a video and, um, as you guys are probably wondering, um, like, judging by the time of this video up above, you're probably like, you are not talking about Modern Warfare 3 and, just be patient, man. I'll get to it, okay? So, um, I have an idea for... And there's a random dog looking at me. I have an idea for Modern Warfare 3, like, how I'm gonna run, like, my YouTube channel and how I'm gonna run my gamer tag, And, like, you know, my pretty much my game plan. And what I think I'm gonna do is, for the most part, I'm not gonna prestige. Like, that's what I think will be... <coughs> Like what I'm gonna stick to, like I'm not gonna prestige at all in Modern Warfare 3. I'm just gonna get to whatever it is, level 80. I'm gonna unlock all of the golden camos, because if you guys don't know already, to unlock the golden camos in that game, you have to, um, what is it? You know like in Modern Warfare 2 how you have to get the attachments, you have to unlock all of the attachments for uh, every weapon and then you can get like access to the other attachments. So when you complete all the attachments, you finally get gold camo for your weapon. So I think that's really cool because then you don't have to be a no life to you know finally get the gold guns. And I don't know, I always wanted to get gold weapons, but I really don't have the time to prestige 15 times. I barely have like, I, I don't even think I have 10 days played in uh, this game. I barely have probably like six or seven, I don't know. I'll tell you guys probably an annotation after this when I go check it at home. But uh, yeah, so I think I'm not gonna prestige. I'm just gonna be working on getting all out all the gold camos for every weapon. I'll be posting gameplays like that. And also I'm gonna be working on, um, after I get the gold camos for every single weapon, after I like, put videos out there. So I always wanna have those gold weapons out because I look at people who are 15th prestige and I'm like, wow, that is so gorgeous, dude. You know, you see that gold camo and you wish you can have that. So gold camo is number one, my number one plan and no prestiging. Number three is I'm gonna be putting out a lot of sniper gameplay because I feel like sniper gameplays would be fun to watch. And here's my dog. She's probably wondering what the heck I'm doing just like out here talking to myself, whatever. So yeah, I'm going to be putting up sniper gameplays because I was inspired to tell you the truth by Mr. Grizz. I was watching his videos of COD 4 beasting with his M48-3 and with that ACOG scope sniping just looks so nice, oh my god. Like I could just sit there and watch his gameplays and drool and I was like, you know what, I need to start doing this thing. So I'm going to be trying to snipe a lot more in Modern Warfare 3. <coughs> I know uh, Mr. When in Doubts, even... Um, gave me the opportunity sorry there's like wind around mr when in doubts even gave me uh you know the bless his heart opportunity to edit a montage if i want so uh thank you to when in doubts but yeah so i'm gonna be trying to snipe a lot in that game trying to get really good and maybe sometime down the road we'll see a modern warfare 3 montage of sniping on my channel probably i'm gonna have Mr. OG's P Da Silva sniping with me and maybe even Outburst and I haven't told them the plan yet but I'm gonna tell them right after this to uh, you know when Modern Warfare 3 comes around the corner we need to be snipers and not for the most part but sometimes you know in your pastime snipe try to get some decent clips and then we could just like you know run it in a montage I think it'll be pretty nice I think you guys will enjoy it so yeah that's uh pretty much all I want to talk about in Modern Warfare 3 like what I'm going to be doing with this channel when it comes to you know actually like in-game play performance and stuff and yeah I hope you enjoy this video that's all I was going to talk about oh yeah <coughs> one more thing I want to talk about was I was so like okay if you guys haven't seen Thunder's video talking about all the Modern Warfare 3 perks and stuff you guys should go check that out right now because it's really very detailed he did a great job on that thing so my plan for Modern Warfare 3, um, like what I think will be a beast class is because you guys know there's going to be a lot of assassin users and hardline and all this stuff, uh, people spamming their scavenger nades to get assists so they can build up their kill streaks. So 
pretty much I think to counter the assassin people I'm gonna be doing a new thing like during my road to commander I'm gonna call it I'm gonna make a thing called swap tubing and I know it's not a good connotation right now you think of it like tubing is not is never a good idea but I really don't care anymore I'm gonna start tubing in Modern Warfare 3 because as you guys know b tubing in Black Ops was pretty it wasn't even used it, they Treyarch did a perfect job in nerfing the noob tubes I mean I rarely get killed by it but when I do get killed by it it's kind of funny because I watch the kill cam so I'm like oh that's cool so yeah um what is quick to oh, did I say swap tubing or quick tubing whatever I'm just gonna say swap tubing I don't remember which one I said but either way quick tube swap tube what it's gonna be is so basically in your tier one perk you're gonna have sleight of hand which allows you to reload faster as you guys know and also it's gonna allow you to swap your weapons quicker right so you know how squat you know how scout pro works in uh black ops you know you get the super fast weapon switch and it's really cool and sometimes um, I don't know if it's just you guys but when I'm on a high kill streak in Modern Warfare 2 and you know I have to pick up a weapon or something or even if I have full ammo on my primary and like I'm like I don't know two away from my AC 130 and then I come across I'm just walking right and I come across a freaking oh my god ACR noob tube on the floor I'm like oh I almost drool sometimes dude it's like oh this is so lovely because when you're in the high kill streak situation you're just like screw it dude I, I will use a noob tube to get my freaking next kill streak it's not like you overuse it but sometimes in desperation you use it and that's what I think um swap tubing or quick tubing is going to be so effective because you'll be able to okay so for instance slide hand as you guys know um kind of disorganized right here but it's just like coming fresh out of my head so you have your sleight of hand perk which allows you to reload fast and switch weapons fast and you have overkill so you need both of those things overkill allows you to have two primaries <coughs> And so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have something like uh, MP5, right? MP5 um, suppressed as my primary weapon. Very nice gun in every Black Ops game, MP5 suppressed. And then for my secondary, I'm gonna have something like a ACR or AK-47 with a noob tube on it. So, you know, if have you ever gotten those situations where you know a guy's sitting there, but he has a perfect angle on you, and you're just sitting in one place, you know, you're just like lying prone and Oh my god, those are the worst situations because you know if you try to come up and battle them You know, you're just gonna get raped because they have the drop on you either they're lying prone like a little girl or they're um, You know right by a wall and there's really nothing you could do about it So I thought like having a backup noob tube or a swap tube would be excellent especially for those assassin users because we all know there's gonna be a lot of them and you have to punish them for not using blast shield so basically you just swap out your other weapon real quick you get cover you swap down your other weapon and boom instant kill for the other for your team and you kill the assassin user it's a good situation I can't wait it's gonna be so awesome dude running mp5 k suppressed and then in times of desperation when you see a guy like way far off on the distance trying to snipe you or something sitting in this little spot like a little girl quick swap boom noob tube and there's your kill so I don't know I, let's see how that will go um, just letting you guys know in advance uh, what I plan to do and I don't know I guess that's the end of this vlog so swap tubing or quick tubing or whatever I don't know how it's gonna work out but in theory in my head right now it seems like a perfect idea and yeah, that's the end of this vlog. I just wanted to get some fresh air. Holy crud, eight minutes and 55 seconds. Wow. I thank you guys for watching, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. This is Hunter and, oh, what do I say? This is arrow shot over and out. This is Hunter, goodbye. Whee!